The FCT Development Control Department this around took the demolition of Shanti in Abuja to Ruga settlement. The demolition affected approximately 10,000 residents, many of whom had been living in the area for the past 37 years. The operation left them without homes or businesses, as their properties were destroyed. The security. Please, when this demolition came on the last, let me give you a summary. When this, we had been demolished here 22 times. This is the 22nd time demolition. This one that happened of recent, everybody know the hardship, know the level of the inflation we are into. The people live here, we are not dragging anything with the government, say we get land or we have anything, but we are pleading. The environment you are saying is like a mini Nigeria. Every tribe you check here, we have, because it's a lower class, people living around. We are pleading, police and police. We are seeking from the Honorable Minister Office to help us and assist us to give us a shelter where we can reside with our people. The FCT Minister who visited the site accompanied by security chiefs insisted that there would not be reversal of the demolition. He explained that the settlement had been identified as a security risk. I am working 24 hours to make sure that Abija is safe, to make sure that citizens and residents of Abuja go out their normal businesses, having sleepless times to make sure that all of us sleep comfortable. And they have identified that this area is one of the areas that pose a lot of threat to security. Look at where you have the red line, look like a buffer zone. And if you allow this kind of people to be here, what it means that anything can happen to our, uh, to our trips. And nobody would take that uh, risk. Um, here is government land. A um, lot of vegetation. Government has not decided what to do with it. And so some of these people have come to stay under it and then begin to have uh, use it as a way of committing crime. But we are human, and we have come here to tell them the composition of government and then see how we can also interface with them. The minister, however, extended an invitation to the victim spokesperson to bring five representatives to the FCT Secretariat for discussions on possible support or relocation options. Habibat Ajayi, Trust TV News, Habuja.